Compared to the average male, I naturally have more testosterone running through my body on a daily basis. All by tweaking certain things in my life, by changing little factors like condensing all my food down into a smaller eating window, or doing things like going to the sauna to improve and boost up my IGF-1 levels. What is going on world? I am the Hungarian experiment and about 8 months ago, I finally began my growth hormone experiments. In a nutshell, I wanted to understand how the factors in my life affect the growth hormone levels in my body. If I eat in a small eating window versus eating the exact same amount of foods spread throughout the day, is that going to have a different effect on my growth hormone levels? How does my sleep, how does getting less sleep or more sleep affect my growth hormone levels? Is there a perfect level that you want to get to? What about exercise? What about smoking and drinking? I want to know and understand this for myself, but also because many men out there, they believe that by taking testosterone or steroids that you are going to increase the amount of muscle that you can put on your body. And this is true. but. Your testosterone output is directly affected by your growth hormone levels. So why would you take steroids when you are at like 20% growth hormone just to get to 60%? Or for instance, let's say, why would you take testosterone when you're at 60% to get to 100%? Or even better, you can naturally be at 94% growth hormone and testosterone output without having to inject foreign substances into your body. This is what I want to experiment with. This is what I want to display to the world. I believe the factors in our life significantly affect our growth hormone levels. Even from something as little as sitting at a desk for 8 hours compared to standing. Or being in a construction job compared to being at a desk job. This is going to have a completely different effect on your body and it's going to affect your growth hormone levels. After starting up a GoFundMe and trying to get some crowdfunding to uh, get growth hormone tests done on my body on a weekly basis. I have finally got enough money from you guys, thank you guys so much, to get two growth hormone tests done. This means over the next two weeks as I prepare for these uh, urine growth hormone analysis tests that I will be pushing off any uh, unnecessary experiments and trying to optimize my hormones as much as possible through my daily life factors. That means strict intermittent fasting. That means clean eating of whole, healthy, nutritious foods. That means being in a slight caloric deficit and structuring my workouts to include very intense as well as low impact exercises. Basically my goal over these next two weeks is to get my body back to the level it was last year uh, about halfway through May. In May there, I got two growth hormone tests done to get a baseline reading on my body. And I found that through these growth hormone tests and, and by optimizing my life factors for a whole month that I had a 94% growth hormone output. My growth hormone output was 3700 PG slash GCR, which is the amount of creatinine that is in your urine. The average for males is 200 to 2200. So I had over a thousand PG slash GCR growth hormone running through my body. That means that on a daily basis, I have about 15 to 20% more growth hormone coursing through my body than the average male. Compared to the average male, I naturally have more testosterone running through my body on a daily basis. All by tweaking certain things in my life, by changing little factors like condensing all my food down into a smaller eating window, or doing things like going to the sauna to improve and boost up my IGF-1 levels. By eating clean healthy foods rather than fast food or foods with preservatives and added chemicals into it. So following those two growth hormone tests, I wanted to see what would happen if I completely changed everything. What if I stopped intermittent fasting? What if I had a weekend where I kind of let loose and enjoyed some alcohol, I enjoyed some different foods, I had added some dairy into my diet, and I didn't work out as intensely as I normally do? Well, after that test, after a weekend of basically shitty eating and enjoying myself and drinking, I had a significant decrease in my growth hormone levels. That means what I do in my daily life, if I change things and manipulate things, that that is going to affect my growth hormone levels. And this is the same for you. 
So now that I have a better idea of how growth hormone affects your body, affects my body, and I actually have scientific proven results on how my growth hormone levels were increased by optimizing my life factors and then by changing things, a huge and significant decrease, it is time to really experiment. It is time to really push these growth hormone experiments to the test. So as I mentioned there, over these next two weeks, I'm gonna be doing the things to optimize my life factors to try to get me back to this 94% growth hormone output. After that, after I prove that I do this test and I can get my growth hormone levels back to that level, my goal and what I wanna to try to do and prove for you guys is to see, does drinking alcohol, does a heavy weekend of drinking lower your testosterone levels? Does it affect your growth hormone levels? And that is what I'm gonna to try to prove. So over the next two weeks here, over January, I'm going to be doing the alcohol experiments. Does alcohol affect your testosterone levels? We will find out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for following along my journey as the Hungarian experiment. As I've explained in previous videos, my journey through life, what I'm trying to display and document here on YouTube is not easy to explain. It, I can't just make a quick video and be like, hey guys, this is what I'm doing, this is why. I have to really explain myself. So if you guys are interested, if you guys wanna see the detailed growth hormone experiments that I did about eight months ago to get these proven results, if you guys wanna see what I was doing in my day-to-day -day life, how I was trying to optimize my life factors the month prior to getting these tests done, I made a whole blog post about this and I will be continuing to make blog posts throughout my growth hormone testing journey. So if you guys are interested, you wanna learn more about trying to optimize your life factors, you want to learn more about how to naturally increase your growth hormone levels for yourself, then I really suggest checking out the blog post in the description box below. There I have four or five videos along with a little summary of why and how I did everything over those couple months and how I actually got those results. So if you guys are interested, make sure you go check that out and of course hit the like button on your way down. I am the Hungarian Experiment.